Hi there, and welcome back. In this video, I want to show you one of the tools on the Scan Essentials um, toolbar here, which is the Create Ground Mesh tool, where you can take uh, ground information from a uh, point cloud, as you can see here, and then create a ground mesh that basically represents your ground and gives you a topo uh, surface that you can work with in your SketchUp models. All right, I'll show you the whole process in just a second. Don't forget to check out my book, Architectural Design with SketchUp. It covers all of these topics and makes for a great desk reference. You can find it where books are sold. There's also a link to it on my site, sketchupfordesign.com, together with lots of additional tutorials and news. Okay, let's take a look at the Create Ground Mesh tool in Trimble Scan Essentials. And for that, I needed a model that has some ground in it basically an outdoor scan of a BIOS whale right here. Uh, let's quickly explore this point cloud in the point cloud manager. And similar as before, I want to you know, pick a point size that I can work with. I want to pick a shading that works for me. I uh, use this one for now, um, since we're outdoors, it's pretty good. And then this cloud, um, has uh, all of these classifications, which is really useful because I can now just pick and choose what I want. So I can turn the main cloud off and actually I'm going to hide all and just turn on what I want to see. So as you can see here, you know, there's um, the various buildings that are, let me just get them all in here like this. <clears throat> and then um, you can see already there's the ground ultimately what I want to work with. <laughs> and then there's high vegetation, trees, uh, poles and signs. I don't think there's one here, but then there's a whole lot of remaining. So that sort of stuff. So uh, that's a really great tool. And again, this happens in the processing software real works in my case, but um, you may have a different one. Anyways, so I'm just going to turn the ground on because ultimately I want to basically create a ground mesh for what I have here. And now in here, I can, of course, limit my view uh, using a um, clipping box right there. And I could make this much smaller that way. Or I can go into top view, parallel projection, and then create a clipping box just from my selection, and I'm going to do this bit. There you go. So, you know, depending on what it is you need, of course, adjust <laughs> for your for your purpose. Okay, so here's my my ground mesh, and I'm going to fire up the first of the create ground mesh um, uh, tools right here, and you can see there's uh, three options. One is fit cloud, <clears throat> one is rectangular, and one, one is bounded right here, but I want to fit the cloud because ultimately, you know, just the data that I have basically. And then you got to start with a cell size and it makes sense to start with a larger one uh, to begin with because you can always refine later. I'm going to say, because mine is not too big, I don't know, two feet just for now, it might be a little large, but anyways, so we can do that. And then of course you can use known ground data um, or just create mesh and you may want to experiment with the various options and I'm just going to say create mesh and cancel out of this and then you can see what I got. So I basically have this mesh fitted to my point cloud and if I turn the uh, visibility of the point cloud off you can see that I have a really nice terrain now. So this is of course accurate. Most of this uh, looks great, has a nice uh, gradient on, on the on the landscape, but there there are some sections, especially this one right here, where I want to have a little bit more detail where I have a catch basin, for example. So I'm going to turn on my point cloud so that I can see what I'm doing. You can kind of see it here, how that fits in there. And then I can experiment with the second tool. This one's called Add Detail. And in order to use that, I have to get into the point cloud, uh, sorry, into the ground mesh. And you can you can just do that like any other um, SketchUp tool. You just double click it and you're in there. And then you're going to need to highlight what you want to refine. 
and then you're going to click the add detail button to add detail and what happens is of course as you can see here that all of these triangles get uh, halved in size and uh, new data gets queried from the point cloud and then this becomes much more precise when I have this drop off. This is still a drop off right here that's not caught very well, but that's okay. I can fix that later. But, but now I at least have a little bit more detail right there. And then turning off my um, point cloud, I can see now my terrain that I've created with this tool right here. There's another option that is really useful. You can thicken this, you can make solid. So select, make solid, and you get yourself a thickness to it. <clears throat> this is useful for for um, you know creating uh, well for 3D printing it for one or for um, creating sliced um, uh, terrain slivers for uh, let's say laser uh, laser cutting and and terrain modeling or or the like. So those are all the tools that come with this ground mesh creation tool right here.